In this final graphical input video, we will show how to extend a plane frame into a three-dimensional building frame. First, we will rotate to a three-dimensional viewpoint so that we can see the entire building once it is generated. This can be done via the Viewpoint button on the side toolbar or by holding down the H or V keys while rotating the mouse scroll wheel. Next, we select all the members in the model, choose the Copy tool along a line, and then pick the ends of a vector that represents the horizontal distance between adjacent frames. For the start of the vector, we can pick any point on the frame. For the other end, we type in the coordinates relative to the start of the vector, ensuring that we begin with the at symbol so that the coordinates are taken as relative rather than absolute. Finally, we must specify how many copies we wish to create. The Draw Members tool then allows us to draw the struts between the first two frames. Remember that whenever we want to disconnect from the member just drawn and start drawing in a different location, we just press the Keyboard Escape key or click the right mouse button. Next we select the members just drawn. Choose the Properties form, specify a new section property number for the struts, and then choose a section from one of the Space Gas section libraries. We can then copy the struts down the building by using the same procedure as when we copied the original frame at the start of the video. This time we can pick both ends of the copy vector by clicking on nodes that already exist. Note that it is only the length and direction of the copy vector that matters rather than its position. Finally, we want one less copy than the number of frames. We then draw the bracing in one of the end bays. Select the bracing members just drawn, and then assign a new section to them as we did for the struts. Now that they have their own section property number, we can select them quickly by using the Find tool and nominating their section property number as the Find criterion. You can see that this is much quicker than selecting them with the mouse. We then choose the Copy tool once again. and make one copy of the bracing at the other end of the building. You will remember that when the frame was just two-dimensional, we applied some out-of-plane restraints to simulate the stabilizing effect of the struts that extend from one frame to the next in the real structure. Now that those struts exist in our three-dimensional model, we need to remove those restraints. This can be done quickly by rotating the model to a non-elevated viewpoint selecting all the nodes above ground, and then removing the restraints from them.
Finally, we will have a look at the final frame in the renderer.